Well, I'm talking a little bit about the casino in my next three minutes, but um, from the, I think we need as a community to look a little further into the future. To just say something brings in revenue or creates jobs doesn't mean that it's what we as a city want for our community. If we're, the study that I read on um, casinos by Mustard, which is a pretty famous study on it, shows that 83% of the revenue generated by an income is coming from the local economy. So if you're taking the money from us, it's almost like uh, stealing from the poor and giving back to the rich. The money is not um, helping our economy if 83% of it comes from a local source. It funnels into this pool of the casino and it funnels out into the investor's hand. Yes, there are benefits from a casino to give us um, money for, for public in infrastructure and things like that, but there's no time left to talk. <laughs> uh, first of all, let's talk about, uh, everybody knows that uh, uh, casinos do have some negative social ramifications. There are some people that, uh, that may go home uh, on Friday night after being paid without their paycheck. That could be the same person that stops in the corner bar and plays these video poker machines and goes home without their paycheck. But let me, see, let me tell you what my vision would be for a casino. This would be the only casino in the state, in the Midwest, on a premier piece of property. A premier piece of property that would be destination gaming. You can come to Sheboygan. We're not looking at the bus that pulls up and pulls out. We're looking at people coming to Sheboygan, spending the weekend, doing some gaming, doing some charter fishing, uh, golfing the great golf courses we have, going to Road America, spending money in restaurants and shops. This is revenue coming from the outside into our city. We need people downtown for our downtown to flourish, for our downtown to survive.